I know it hurts, Bobby. I know, honey. Just a little bit more. You know, I was a tomboy growing up. I used to cut myself all Miss the time. I need to speak with you in private. Well, it's going to have to wait till I do this. Concerns our last conversation. Eddie, I can take over here. She doesn't want to talk to you, Ellen. Uh, it's okay, Rick. Thanks, Lily. Spalding Foundation runs this hospital. If Alan Spalding wants to have a word with me, there's no problem. You know, you Bowers could learn a lot from this lady. Rick, do you want to give me a hand here, please? Oh, I see the problem here. <clears throat> I want to get something straight up front. By all means. I was upset when we talked at the carousel. We both were for good reason. I'm sorry if I led you to believe that we were going to work together to separate Josh and Reva. Josh and I are fine. I don't need your help. On the contrary, you need my help now more than anything. Reva is out to do you in. This last quarter shot's fired. Well, what are the cops doing? Any word yet on Lucy? Do you care? The patrols in the area, please respond. Well, I was worried about you. That's why I'm here. Worried about you? A lot more to worry about besides me. I would have been here a lot sooner, but the things have been just a little complicated. A little complicated? Right. <laughs> Whatever. I know how you must feel. I want to do something to help. You want to help? Take your concern and get out. This is Lontano. He's making his move. Prepare to follow in your car. I'm ready to roll. Keep it low key. The subject can't know he's being followed. Got it. That's it. Al Michael's on his way to meet Brent. And when he does, we'll be there. Stop the car! I can't let you do this. Amanda, get out of the way. If I don't go, Brent's gonna kill Lucy. But he kills you! Look, I don't have time to argue now. Please move! No, you'll leave over my dead body. Hold on, people. We have a problem. <laughs> what do you mean about a going away party? I thought you'd like a little celebration. You haven't had much fun lately. Wait a minute. I thought that we decided that we were going away together and starting over just the two of us. Don't you want to say goodbye to Alan Michael in person? No! I mean, I don't care about Al Michael. I want to be with you. Isn't life funny, Lucy? Here I was thinking I was going to kill you, and now we're going away together. So we don't need Al Michael here, right? Lucy. Lucy, you made me so happy. I never dreamed it would end up like this. But I'm really happy that it did. So when can we go? What's your hurry? We have our whole lives together. Because I don't want to waste another minute of it. No. No, we rushed things before, and you got upset. This time, I'm going to make it the way you dreamed it would be. This is going to be perfect. Wait, stop. Why? Don't tell me you changed your mind. No, I didn't. I, as a matter of fact, it's really, it's <laughs> all that I can think of. Good. But maybe we could uh, wait until we get to another place. We don't have to leave for me to take you to paradise. Yeah. It's me then. Brent. It's just me in this place. I feel very uncomfortable here. It's full of very bad memories here. Well, I'll, I'll make you forget all of them, I promise. But maybe I would feel less, less nervous if we were somewhere else. How about a nice romantic cabin in front of a roaring fire? 
Like with Alan Michael? Oh, Brent, that's not what I meant at all. Well, how about a nice warm beach or a fancy hotel room yeah, in Paris? That sounds great. Good. Whatever is fine. We'll decide later. We have plenty of time. Please, I don't feel comfortable here. Would you rather be on the ferry dock where Lucky Fowler got his? Or maybe back at Marion's, where Deanie checked out? No. How about that nice phone booth on 5th Street where Patrick Cutter lost out on his no. pension, hmm? No. No, I want to be with you. Dance with me? And we can dance later. We're going to dance here and now. Having fun? Brent? Why does this mean so much to you? I want to erase all the bad times. But I told you that if we left here, I would be fine. If we're going to start over, we're going to start here and now. You said so yourself. I can't believe that this is really happening. <laughs> believe it, Lucy. <laughs> You're back in my arms where you belong. <laughs> and this time I'll never let you go. <laughs> Remember this song? Yeah, of course. How could I ever forget it? It played on that night we had our big date. You looked so beautiful in your print floral skirt. I kept thinking how lucky I was to be with you. <laughs> how much I wanted you. Just like now. Right. Just like now. Mm -hmm. Go back, Lucy. Tell me what happened next. Um, well, at that point, we had some drinks. Right. That's right. You pretend you didn't like the vodka I mixed into your fruit juice, but you drank enough of it. Screwdriver's OK? You know, I'm not very thirsty right now. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll drink it. Bottoms up. Mmm, -hmm. that's delicious. You're trembling. No, I'm not. Yeah. It's the chill in this place. It's the chill. It's not why you're trembling. You're remembering what we had after the drinks. Then. Yes, let's go from here. Don't you remember? Don't you remember what we did? I picked you up and carried you to the bed. Remember? Brent, no, I'm not going to move until you come to your senses. You cannot go after Brent. I don't have a choice now. Move. No, if you don't listen to me, I'm calling the police. I swear I will. Martano. What's going on? A woman has planted herself in front of the car. He's trying to get her out of the way. Amanda, I have to be at 5th Street to take a call from Brent at 417. If I am not there, he is going to hurt her. If I bring anybody, if I do anything stupid, he will hurt her. All right? Now, I can't be late, and I don't want to take any chances. Now, please move. Oh, Michael, you're my brother. I just found you. I don't want to lose Amanda, you. Amanda, Amanda. Please, I don't want you to die. Look, it's not going to happen, okay? I'm begging you, Alan. No, Michael, listen to me. Listen to me. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If I go head to head with Brent here, it's going to help me get to Lucy. Now, it's a risk that I have to take. But just use the police's backup, Brent. We'll never know. Has the subject left yet? Negative. He and the woman seem to be arguing. Listen, listen. I'm not trying to be a hero here. I just want to get Lucy back. Right now, she's about to give herself to the man who raped her in order to save me. Don't you understand what that was, it's going to cost her? Well, I do. I can't let that happen. If I die trying to save her, then I die. I can't let her down, okay? Try to understand. Please, Amanda, all right? I can't. No. Okay. Can you hear what they're saying yet? No. I'm being tailed. What? Shh. Sprint is here. No, 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 no. no the police. I didn't call him. I no, swear. I know, I know, I know. Frank, he's just trying to hold up his end of the deal. You hold up yours. Help me get to Lucy. Somebody please tell me what the hell is going on. He's taken the woman inside the building. Listen, did you get wind of what they were saying? No. He may have seen us and aborted his plan. Please advise. It's your sister. You call it. 
Hold positions just in case. Lady's got the whole place surrounded. Now Michael can't leave without us knowing about it. You're so brave. Reva means business. Now you'd better be ready to defend yourself. If you're trying to scare me, I don't appreciate it. I'm not trying to scare you, honey. I'm trying to help you. Now, you can keep your head in the sand if you want to and risk losing Josh and the children, but you'd better hear me out first. Come on. You still really care about her, don't you, Rick? I believe I asked for some band-aids, Nurse Rains. Oh, yes. Wow, it means. I'll be right back. Reva doesn't get over things, she gets even. Now, the, the fiasco at the psychiatrist's office this morning was the straw that broke the camel's back. She and Josh had another fight. What else is new? Plenty. Before she left to go see Mara, I had convinced her in accepting joint custody of the children. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But thanks to Josh's high-handedness, all that's off now. Now, Reva has told her lawyers to do whatever it takes to get sole custody of those children as soon as possible. You're so close to getting this over with. No more, Annie, no more. She is going to try to look and find anything she can to discredit you and Josh's parents. Well, let her. Josh has nothing to hide. And neither do I. Make sure you don't. Make sure, because she is going to try to find anything she can to discredit you as soon as she can. Why me? Why you? And you stand between Reva and Josh. You mean Reva and the children? No, I mean Reva and Josh. So what do you expect me to do about it? Well, I think the best defense is a good offense. I can use my influence here with the foundation to have your work cited. How does Nurse of the Year sound? I've won my own awards, Alan. I don't need your help to look good in a custody fight. Annie, if there is anything, anything in your past that Reva can use against you, you must tell me. Why should I believe you? You're standing here betraying the woman that you claim to trust and love. How can anybody trust you about anything? Don't want to push me away, Buzz. Please it's talk to me. I may be late, I may not be family, but I'm here now and I want to help you. You want to help me? Clear off table three and put napkins in all the napkin holders, okay? I'm gonna be in there. You can lean on me. I leaned on you plenty that night at the ball. That's right, you did. You leaned on me plenty that night at the ball. Come on, lady! I was there, taking care of you, trying to put you together into one piece. And what some maniac was chasing my daughter. And what I get for it? You go to Spalding. To the mess you call a life. What you me? did for me that night meant the world to me. It did! Stop it! I was out there without a net. You were the only one who stood by me. You kept me from falling. I'd do it again in a second. It meant the world to me. More than I can even say. It was your voice and your touch, Buzz. I held on to that with all my might. That's what helped me. Now, you can do this too. Just hold on to me. Why hasn't Alan Michael made his move yet? Beats me. Maybe change his mind. Or maybe Brent contacted him again. What do you think? What am I, psychic? Seaton, you. Your cop, Frank. Figure it out. And yeah, don't be going off on me, Cleary, all right? Especially with my sister's life on the line here. Yeah, and why is that, Frank? It's because I screwed up again. First, I mess up the stakeout at Marion's, and then I let it slip to Roger Thorpe that Brent is a cross-dressing killer. And then Roger Thorpe lets the whole world know that your sister's being held by a madman. And now Lucy is in more danger than ever. I should be cleaning sewers somewhere. Are you done beating yourself up? Not quite. Well, let me tell you something. Brent Lawrence fooled everybody, including Lucy. Brent Lawrence has nothing to do with why I am a washout as a cop. If Cutter were still here, I'd be gone, and you know it. 
Is that right? Well, just because you come from a long line of lawmen that dates back to early man doesn't mean you have to be a super cop. Yeah. Blood well, settle it being a good one. You are. And you know it. And Cutter would say the same thing if he was here. Yeah. It would also tell you to lose this, like, ancestor worship thing that you're doing, you know? You want to make your family proud, just do your best. That'll make them proud. Yeah, well, uh, our family tradition isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah? How's that? Laurentano, subject is back. Heading for his car. Subject is starting his car. This is it. He used east side exit. Now heading north on Courtney Boulevard. Don't lose him. We're on our way. You heard him, people. Let's roll. Good work, man. I want you to remember how it was that night. How close we were. You chose me to be the first, didn't you? Didn't you? Yes. You wanted me, didn't you? Yes. And remember how you were, like, panting and, like, begging me with your eyes, just like you are now, remember? Yes. And, and I waited for just the right moment when I knew there was no turning back, and I reached up in my arms and I carried you to the bed, remember? And you didn't resist, did you? No. first met, how sweet and wonderful you were. <laughs> what? No, I remember, I remember what a, a gentleman that you were. Remember all the flowers that you used to give me and the little gifts? Remember that keychain? That one was my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite too. You know, I never told you this, Brent, but at all the meetings, I used to watch you because you were so handsome, so in control of things. And other people used to feel threatened by you, but not me. I, I didn't embarrass you, did I? No, it's not that. Because you never seemed to be the, the modest type about, about anything. Remember when we went swimming in the, in the nude? And you were so free and uninhibited. I was timid, but, but you made me feel safe. I knew that you would protect me from anything. And even when the cops came and we went down to the station, you were there. You, you were there. You didn't let me down. I want a man, Brent. I want a man that makes me feel safe, and you make me feel safe. Why are you telling me this now? Because I was afraid before. My feelings scared me. So you said that I raped you? Friend, please. That was my first time. And you overwhelmed me. The feelings that I had. It just scared me. Friend, please. Maybe please give me a second chance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't either. I swear I didn't. But I'm glad it did. Aren't you? Why don't we go outside and take a walk? 
walk along the beach. And we can cuddle and hold each other just like we used to. And we don't have to rush anything. You're right. Come on, Brent. Come on. Come with me, Brent, please. Come with me. Forget the walk. I have things no, to do. No, wait, Brent, please. We don't have to do it. Wait, you can do it later. You can do it later. Brent? Hey, you're right on time. Lucy wins a little reprieve. Okay, I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. You keep up yours. You don't hurt her. Well, I won't unless she asks me to. You know, she likes it pretty rough. What's next? Go to the end of the dock and the payphone there where they reeled Nadine in. I'll call you at 4.46. Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. I want to talk to Lucy first. Well, we all want things we can't have. 4.46 on the dock. There be square. We'll be okay. Lucy's going to come back to you. You have to believe that it's going to be I keep okay. messing up as a father? I'm just not very good at it. You love your the children. The harder I try. You love them. Yeah, well, sometimes love just isn't good enough, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta back it up with action. I'd sort of miss the mark there, you know? Every parent wishes that they could do more for their kids. <laughs> do more? How about being there? I'm never there. I'm never. I say I am, I promise I am, I mean it, but I'm never there. Frank. He's gonna graduate from the police academy. His father is supposed to be there. Get cheer him on. Am I there? No, I'm here with you. Al, you're not the first man that's found me hard to get away from. Uh -huh. Well, I don't need excuses. I can make my own excuses. You know, if I were a father, my daughter wouldn't be in this fix. You can't blame yourself for what Brent no, Morris has done. No, that. It's all the times, all the ways I've failed everyone I've claimed. We all Little do life. that. Nobody is perfect. Oh, Sticky with perfect. Come on. I, how about dependable? I can be master of the moment. I can tell people what they want to hear. Say I'll be there. Tell them I love them. But what about the long haul? I had a wife. And she loved me. Hell, I made her love me. And I left her with two kids. I left her with Frank and with Harley. Because I didn't have the guts to be a father. And I came back. And she prayed that I changed. And if I had, she'd be alive. Maybe she wouldn't, Buzz. This isn't doing anybody any good. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we're ashamed of. Yeah. And sooner or later, we pay for it. And sooner or later, we stop whining about it and get off our sorry butts and do something. Annie, you're wrong about me. I love Reba. Then why are you trying to undermine her efforts to get the children? You know, you're seeing this from a very narrow point of view. I am looking at it in the whole picture here. Well, you can look at it any way you like. Just leave me out of it. Annie, we could help each other. I am not going to go behind Josh's back like this. Even if it gets him what he wants? You know, doesn't this bother you at all? Don't you feel the least bit guilty? Why don't you come off of your moral high horse and get on board with me? You are the woman for Josh, and I am the man for Reva. Now, all I want us to do is to work together so that we can keep this bad situation from becoming even worse. You know, I heard you were smooth, but I had no idea. I may be in love 
with Reva, but I don't agree with everything she does. And trying to destroy you and Josh over this custody battle is absolutely wrong and short-sighted. Well, did you tell her that? She's not listening. She's acting from a, from a feeling of being hurt. All I'm doing, I'm trying to do is to save her from herself and help you in the process. You mean use me to get what you want? children as much as Josh does. Now, how would you feel if something from your past wound up costing him Mara and Shane? It's not going to happen. Hmm? I don't have anything to hide. You're lying. Everyone has a secret of blotch in their past. Annie, Annie, let me help you erase this. Now, I have as much at stake in this as you do. You're wasting your time, Ellen. For now. Now, you call me change your mind. Well, let me guess. Revis and Alan to bust your chops, right? No, Alan came to warn me. He said that Reva was out to get me. Come on, Rick. She's gonna nail me for being a drunk. Relax. Alan came here to rattle your cage. This is the deal. Reva sent Mr. Wonderful here to psych you out, hoping you'll convince Josh not to fight for the kids. No, That's the no. deal. Alan came here to warn me that Reva was coming after me, and I believe him. Rick, she's going to find out that I'm an alcoholic yeah, and use it against Josh. I mean, Reva's not going to have to do a damn thing if you freak out first. Besides, you're in recovery. Do you really think yes. that matters? Yes, I do. If Josh loses the kids. Because of me, I don't know what I'm going to do. You, you've been sober for a long time, Annie. You are a good mother and a terrific nurse. A terrific nurse. You wouldn't be on my trauma team if you weren't. Hey, look, let Reva come after you. Let her make trouble because I will vouch for you and so will my father. What if that's not enough? One day at a time, Annie. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't do that. I lied to Alan. I told him I didn't have anything to hide. You don't. Annie, look. There's no shame in being a recovering alcoholic. You lead a perfectly productive, normal life. Now, if, if Reva decides to dig in your past, Ross can dig in hers, and what's there isn't pretty. No, Annie. They're not going to go that way. That, that, that tactic will blow up in Reva's face. I can't imagine Alan and that attorney doing that. Well, attorneys have ways of twisting things like pretzels. They're going to make me look like a slip waiting to happen. You know, you're someone who's going to drink and then drive their kids to school, leave them home alone while I go bar hopping. I cannot risk Josh losing the kids because I am a drunk. No. Rick, Rick, honey, you're going to have to help me. What do you mean, help you how? Well, we were married when I was drinking, right? And they're probably going to ask you to testify, so you're going to have to say that things weren't all that bad. You and want me to lie for you? You want me to lie? You want me to lie? For the don't sake you, of Annie. the children, they deserve to be with Josh. Rick, please, honey, please tell me you're going to help me. Annie, listen to yourself. You are falling apart. I want you out of this mess right now. You know, you've got some ego, Buzz Cooper. But the world does not revolve around you. Thank you for your sister. I'm not going to sit here and hold your hand while you take blame for everything so that you can feel sorry for yourself. Lucy was abducted by a madman because he saw an opening and he took it. Nadine died because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What do you know? I know what you told me. I know, Sit, that life is a series of choices. You told me that that day in the park. Nadine chose to stay in Springfield as long as she did. You didn't tie her up. You didn't force her to stay here. Made... You didn't force Lucy to go out with that creep all the time I made ago. mistakes. Okay. You also told me that people can live with mistakes. And after my scene that night at the country club, I'm hoping that you're right about that. What, do you write down everything I say? Just the good stuff. You won't get writer's credit. Oh, would you knock it off? You are a brave and loving man. So you're not perfect, so what? You're a good father. Oh, how can you say that? Because you're doing the best you can. And from where I'm sitting, your best is pretty darn good. Should have been able to... Oh, should, would, could, what if? 
The man had a plan. Nobody could see that coming. Nobody could fight that. You don't get it, do you? Yes, I do get it. And I think your kids get it, too. You love them. You would lay down your life for them, and they know that. I shouldn't be able to help. You have. You gave Lucy a life full of love, and that's what she's holding on to, Buzz. Everything you taught her, every word you ever said to her, she's holding on to all that for dear life. She remembers all of that. Hey, you gave her smarts. You gave her strength, you gave her hope. And that's what's gonna bring her back to you. I know she's gonna come back to you. I know it. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. Okay. Now what, Brent? For someone who's been given every advantage, your phone matters weak. Yeah, so just playing your stupid game. Wait till I tell Lucy that you said saving her life was a game. She's upset enough already, Dan, as it is. You'd think she were being held prisoner by a oh, maniac. Look at the crap, just tell me where you are. I would never swallow the bait, Owl Michael, but I know you will. Your next and final stop is... No! Lucy? Lucy! What have you done to her? Brent! Brent, come on, talk to me. Tell me what to do, man, come on. Brent, answer me. What? I thought Alan Michael didn't matter to you. He doesn't. Then why do you care what happens to I him? I don't. Then why do you lie to me? Because you just lied to me. What? You just lied to me. You told me that you were through with Al Michael and that he didn't have to come here. And all of a sudden, I walk in the room and there you are playing phone tag with him. Brent, how am I supposed to... Brent, what have you done to Lucy? I... Right? I haven't decided yet. You listen, Brent, if you hurt her, I swear to God, I will kill you. You're trying to turn the tables. Make me out to be the bad guy. I thought you were special. But you're a lying whore like all the rest of them. You want Al Michael and you using me to get to him. No, I don't. I want you. But just tell me, bringing Al Michael here, what is that going to do? How are we going to get out of here if Al Michael's here, huh? We have plenty of time. No, we don't. And why take the chance? You know Al Michael is just like his father. And they don't play fair, and he's probably out there scheming up some other plan. We have to get out of here now. We've got to get out of here. We've got to find some place safe so I can feel safe. So let's go. Brent, listen to me. Listen to me. Leave Lucy alone. Okay? This is between you and me, man. Come on, I'm the one who told you that I was gonna make you pay. I'm the one who shot you, man. I left you for dead. Come on, don't you want to extract a little revenge on me? Come on. Come on, give me what I got coming to me. Burned out lighthouse. 508. I'll be waiting. Get out of the car, your joyride's over. Leading us on this little goose chase is not gonna sit too well with leaving. Yeah, sure as hell I'm not gonna help Lucy out either. Now, either we start working at it together, or I'm hauling you. Under what charges, officer? Get out of the car before I drag you out. Did I forget to use my turn signal? I, that's what it was. How could you I do something so stupid? We were following me so closely, I got This is it. not about a traffic violation. This is about trading places with Alan Michael, leading us in circles. My brother asked to use my car. How could I refuse to? You think this is some kind of game? Because it's not. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. Congratulations. You just killed your brother.
You want me to drop out of the custody Yes, title? I do. What about Josh? What about the kids? I don't care They're about... counting on I don't me. care about them. I'm worried about you. I am fine. Oh, you're fine, right? Oh, yeah. You got Alan and Reva pulling you on one side. You got Josh and the kids pulling you on the other. Annie, this has got to stop. I want you out of this mess right now. I can't. You can't. There's, there's no other way. Yeah. Yeah, there is. You could lie for me. No, I am not going to lie for you. It destroyed our marriage. It destroyed our marriage! It almost destroyed your relationship with Josh. It is different with him. It's different. Will you listen to yourself? You sound exactly like you did when you were drunk. Are you going to help me or not? Yes, I'll help you, but I'm not going to lie for you ever again. you he broke the mold um, can you blame him no I'm serious I mean you know your hair's shorter you're dressed different you're a heck of a lot sassier but you're the same girl I fell for in Goshen you're warm-hearted good you helped me when I needed it just returning the favor It's not the way you look. It's not your eyes. On your hair. It's not your body. It's not the way you kiss. It's your heart. It's your soul. What's his name? Josh and Spalding. They don't see it. They don't deserve it. What do they have to do with any of this? I was right. Life is choices. You chose the wrong man because you lost the man you love. I'm just trying to live with my mistakes. That's what you told me to do. Doesn't mean you have to settle for just anybody. You have a choice right in front of you. Why not take it? Alan Michael won't be killed. Why is that, Miss Spaulding? You think just because he's rich, he's invincible? Well, he's not. Brent Lawrence has already killed three people including my mom. There's no reason he won't do this again. I, I tried to stop him, I swear. I, I wanted to call you, but he wouldn't let me. He said that Brent would kill Lucy if the police got involved. Your brother is thinking with his heart, not with his head right now. now. If I was in his place, I'd probably be doing the same thing, but you should have known better. He's my brother, I couldn't say no. Do you know where he was headed? Brent told him to be at the phone booth on 5th Street at 417. He was to get further instructions then. Oh, great. That was about an hour ago. Spalding's long gone. Are you, do you swear that's all you know? I swear. Let me tell you something. If he contacts you again or you hear anything, you let us know. Or the next ride you take could be to your brother's funeral. I just saw the police leaving. Any word on Lucy? Oh, uh, no, no, there's nothing yet. Blast this godforsaken mess. Look, I'm gonna go upstairs and wait for Alan Michael. He's gonna need me. Alan Michael isn't here. Where is he? The police headquarters? No. No, he's gone. He went after Brent. Alone. I'm here. Come on, I'm here. No cops. No guns. It's just you and me now, man. Yes. You and me. 